Let's build a real-time fundraising meter in PowerPoint. So when you search for fundraising meter and you go to images, then you see what I mean. Uh, this is a good example. So you need to show for what you are paying or giving a donation. You can show what you want to achieve and you are displaying the current status of the fundraising. Uh, and displaying this fundraising information in real time is so much better when you're raising money and raising funds. Because when you look at television, you make a donation and you see your donation showing up on that screen, on that meter, etc. So uh, it's very important for a good, smooth running fundraising uh, event. So we are going to collect the information in an Excel file. Um, where we list the donations, so we have a date, a name, and the amount, etc. Um, so this is just data entry that we do on this sheet. Then we have this second sheet here, where we do a sum of the donations. So that's the information that we store in Excel. All right. Okay. So. In PowerPoint, we have already designed this nice meter, fundraising meter here. So you can change this website, you can change your goal and, and change the uh, values there. But we are going to use this in real time. So we need a tool like DataPoint. And DataPoint is here in the PowerPoint ribbon. We have a list to the connections and we have set up already a list to the Excel file. So first of all, when I click Edit, we see here a fundraising, which is pointing to the Excel file there. So second level is that we have a query, as we call this. And when we open this, we see that we are not reading out the donation data sheet, but the sum data sheet in here. Yeah, that's, that's what you see here. We can enter a maximum range. So basically, we only need a one, let's say a one until a two. That's sufficient, uh, but it will work like this uh, as well. We are importing some more columns and cells, etc. but that's not uh, a problem. The first row contains the field names. That's because we have this title in there. That's the caption or the column name. Uh, and we are going to refresh every second. So that's the information. Some of the nations, this is the amount that we have already collected. So, okay. We want to show this in real time in a text box. So I'm selecting this normal text box. I can do some font changes here, coloring, uh, etc. But the magic part in here is that we can link this text box to a cell of Excel. So I'm already using the defaults here. So we have only one data connection in here. We only have one column, so that's fine automatically. So when I click OK, we are showing the sum of donations in PowerPoint. So I can do some more cosmetic work. I can uh, say that this is a currency. So, and there it is. Yeah. Next step is that we are going to change the height of the meter here. So this is just a normal PowerPoint uh, meter, uh, lines and rectangles and circles, etc. Um, let me put them back. So basically, this is our lowest point where we have no donations. And this is the goal that we want to reach $100,000. So this rectangle here is something that we are going to animate and update accordingly to the value that we have for the donation. So Important here is that we first draw this rectangle to the maximum, like so. Then we go into meter, data of data point. Again, one data connection, only one column, so that's easy. Uh, we are going to change not the rotation, but the height. Yeah, And then we see here a preview of the value. We know that we want to raise 100,000, so we have to change this. So the value that we are seeing here is ranging between zero and one, oh, that's one zero too much, 100,000. Um, and I'm clicking now, use current height of the shape as a maximum height. That's just to say that we are going to show the value that we have 
on a scale from zero to maximum, like so. So when I click OK, we will see that the uh, mercury is going to lower in this thermometer so that it's arriving here. So this is the goal. And there it goes. So I can now run the um, slideshow, like so, and I can use another computer where I can enter the information for the fundraising uh, information. So let me just put this aside, like so. I'm going here. Um, I'm copying the date. And my amount that I'm going to pay is, say, 15,000. And then you see the value changing. So you see already that when you save the Excel file, you see that the value is changed here and that the mercury is in the thermometer is going up. So let's make it 25,000. And there we see it updating. Find out more at presentationpoint.com and definitely use our data point product.